guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 21 of I Got Swamp Parade, just as I said in Hey Camp and in both uh, Tesla and Academy. Um, my cousin's on the phone right now, if you hear her voice, and there are people outside right now doing maintenance work and stuff like that. So if you hear anybody in the background talking that is not me, anytime when it's like silent, just know that for now. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode 21 in 3, 2, 1. Go. Got four more weeks with this show. Oh my god. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes when I look at this show and seeing how it was in 2012 until now, it just feels like this is really truly what they wanted to do with it. But I, I kept thinking that it would possibly exceed or succeed some other shows like Preach On or not even like Pretty Cure because Pretty Cure is Pretty Cure and Pretty Cure is like far as I See, that's what I feel like this 25 episode series was just to lead to this big event that Rocky's going to be doing, which, in my opinion, I feel like we're going to find out in, like, episode 23 to 25, but who knows? Because this is the, um, the iCuzzy Sports Festival episode, I believe. I'm gonna miss this show. Four weeks left. Four weeks is gonna go by quickly, but it's still at the same time. It's gonna feel so weird because you know how you just don't want a show to be over and then next you know it's over and then you're just like, oh my god, like the memories that you have from when the show started to when the show ended. I mean, this show has been on literally for almost 10 years. If we, if it would have stayed on for like two more years, it would have been a decade. And the fact is that it's going to be ending in four weeks. Yeah, four weeks is the 28th. And today is the second. So. Really more of three weeks. But by the time I get it, it'll be between the 30th and 31st. But still, I mean, 2012 to 2020, that is literally in a decade in itself. And it just feels like I was expecting more for this show and that it would have kept continuing on and on and on. But they got something else and who knows what could happen next time. But you just don't want to say goodbye. We love these characters. Let's say the question is, is like all the freaking idols gonna be in this or is it just gonna be a certain amount? I mean it's like what? Okay, there's music. Alright, there we go. That's the biggest question I wanted to know. But then you gotta think about Yurika and Kaede. There's so many girls, so who knows? Really? It's still weird to have those two talk because of the same voice actor. 
and there's Eureka in the background. Oh, welcome. You know, with walkabout, I just assume, you know, I think we all assumed, like, way when I got to my parade was announced that walkabout would have been, you know, the main POV of it, of the whole entire show, but then they surprised us with Rocky Town, and so I think for some people... I was a little bit of it at first. I, I didn't know how to feel about Rocky because we just got the picture of her. And I was like, okay. I was like, but Wakaba. I was like, you build Wakaba up for all this first season, the only season of, um, excuse me, I got two friends. And so you were assuming that she's going to be this next POV because I and me are going to be going on to the next grade. And Wakaba is going to be officially starting school there, even though Wakaba doesn't really have a uniform. It would have been nice to see her in a uniform. I get that because it's happened with so many other girls in this show. But, I mean, except, um, watch your face from Double M, who's with Music Keep, because she's in her own thing. But still, it would have been nice. But no, you gave me Rocky, and we're 21 episodes in, we've got four weeks left, and I still love her to dear, like, for everything, but still at the same time, it's like, Wakaba could have got this shine, and, but now he decided to give me another character. That's okay. Oh my foot. <laughs> oh, each girl's got that like hands down. <laughs> Oh, that looks so good. It makes sense that they're only really doing like songs from 
Rocky Scoop because it seems like they're the most important ones of this episode. But it would have been nice to see like Kinyurika or Kaede or um, Mahiru. Uh, freaking Mizuki, even though Mizuki did a uh, performance episodes ago for um, <laughs> another Chai Star or uh, Hime, um, Love Me Tear, any of the other girls who were like in a unit or not. I mean, you've given me focus on like Aine, Ichigo, Mio, Rocky, and everybody else, but then there's so many other idols, and that's why I was glad last week that she gave me the happy train episode and having them sing because like mm, that was everything. And I also thought, like, um, mentors of this show, going from my gutsy to friends, they would have had a bigger role in this, but they've been, like, everyone's been put on the back burner, and all the idols from <laughs> various shows have been, oh my god, look at the apple bunnies! <laughs> all the idols have put in the front, but then there are still certain idols that have been, like, pushed to the back, and who may or may not have a voice role because who knows, like, there's so many different idols in this show, specifically with the voice actors, if they're busy on, like, anything. Because, I mean, the freaking girl who plays Ichigo, she's not only in this, um, she's now about to have an album come out, and then she has season two of The Promise Neverland, so she's doing a lot of things. Yeah, I mean, and plus, if you run and if you hurry again, it could be really worse than that. She can't there, and she ain't even got his being role. It just feels so weird. Now she says something now, like, oh my god.
It took 21 episodes for this girl to finally just say a couple of lines, but still, I'm happy. It would have been better to just, like, show us moving animation instead of just, like, having, like, pictures back and forth, but I get it. But the fact is, these are the final episodes. You can't really do as much as you want, but still, it would have been nice. I honestly thought Madoka would have performed in this episode too, but mm, no.
Okay, so this is an interesting episode. It kind of gave me feels towards, um, I'm trying to think, oh, got it, Kobayashi's episode. There, I think it was like either episode 7 to 10 where Kana had a sports episode where she did the sports festival and everything, and it was so freaking cute. I mean, watching your favorite characters just all go against each other in a certain episode, it's just fun and interesting. It's sweet and adorable. <laughs> it makes you wonder who you could cheer for. I was assuming that Rocky was going to get a performance in this episode because a little bit surely they were literally showing every girl from her team except Madoka. Madoka was like the next one and then you end up like showing Rin, um, <clears throat> Wakaba, and Madoka in that order. Well, no, it was Wakaba, then Rin, then Madoka in that order and you don't really show Rocky because this is still Rocky's show with everybody else in it. But it was nice. I really enjoyed it for what it was. But the fact is, like, at the end of the day, we're getting closer and closer to the end of this show. And it's like, you're happy, but then at the same time, you're sad because you really, truly don't want it to end. And we're still wondering why in the world Rocky's sister ended up putting all these girls together, which I kind of have a reason. But I'm not 100% sure. Like, half of me thinks, number one, it's for Rocky. For Rocky to essentially um, learn. <laughs> of course. Well, okay. Well, well, I'll talk about that too. So I'll have to look at the site next week. Okay, so number one, I feel like the reason why her sister did this is predominantly for her. For her to learn the lessons from different idols, POVs, and saying, like, what's right and what's wrong. Like, what the ins and outs of what an idol should do and what the idol shouldn't do. And she's getting that. She's learned officially in 21 episodes how to be an a, a better idol than just... I think if she just would have had just the girls of I Cut Two Friends in the series, in a way, because she's gotten to see so many different people and so many different and have so many different opinions on this that and the third and it's really good for her the second reason why i felt like she did this i felt because this is something that i've actually wondered um 
predominantly with the first half of, or really just the first entire season of I Cut Two Friends, and I kept wondering if they ever were truly going to do an all-star series where everybody was together and they're all interacting with each other. And that's a, particularly what they're doing with this show. And that could be the biggest reasons of why her sister wanted to do because she wanted all these other idols not only to interact with her sister Rocky, but to also interact with each other. Now with this announcement coming officially in, uh, this weekend, it's at the 7th or the 8th, I believe. Um, let me go back real quick. Uh, March 8th. That would be the seventh for me. No, that'll be the eighth, but that'll be probably earlier in the day for me. It could be, I don't know, I really have no idea. It could be one or two things because the Wikipedia says this is the final series of the Aikatsu franchise. So it could be that they're finally going to show the first look of this new series that they're doing that is supposed to take the time slot of I Cut to One Parade, or it could be something new that we're not really going to see the first look of everything until maybe not spring, maybe summer. We're getting like the name of it, maybe the characters and everything, and maybe a trailer for it, but we ain't gonna really know until si uh, not Saturday, Sunday, my bad. So probably what I'll do is that night, because it is, what time is it in Japan anyway right now? It is 4.42 a.m. Tuesday, uh, their time. So I think what I'll probably do is between that time is probably check the site a lot. I'll probably between my Twitter and then going on YouTube and stuff. That's a predominantly where I'll get my information because if they don't, if no one puts anything on here, I have a feeling like somebody, if I'm scrolling down my timeline for like a second, I'll see it through there. But yeah, I mean, this episode was really good. Honestly, it made me want to go out outside for a walk. And I haven't been on a walk since about like two hours ago when I took my dog out. But yeah, other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 21 of I Cut to One Parade. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially either next Sunday or next Monday for episode 22. Bye, guys!